Hi everyone, Hyper Recipe here. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've done on my physical 2 to the 4 puzzle. You can see that the yellow cell is a lot brighter now because I have I have painted or I've, I've, I've refurbished the yellow side um, because it was kind of getting a lot a lot more faded than the first time I got it. Um, so I just want to show you what I did. So as you can see, I've kind of got some you know house paint. Uh, basically test pots. I mean just get them from a hardware store. Just test pots that they use on like houses and stuff. So I've done that. I use varnish. So I sprayed it with varnish for like three coats um, and now the puzzle is looking like this. Um, and I do apologize some of it is not that great because what I actually did was I left it. I didn't let, I didn't let the whole thing set. I did I did my, all my all my painting and stuff left it for two hours for it to, to cure and I thought that would be done but you know I didn't didn't leave it for you know a long time and that's why that's what happened and I was sort of you know doing a few things on it like testing it and seeing what it turns like and see it's a little bit chipped here because I was just testing it which was kind of stupid of me doing that but I left it over I left it overnight um, I left the puzzle overnight let the puzzle so it like completely dried all the way through and now the puzzle is completely fine um, and you know um, it works perfectly you know I can just you know turn it normally like this and you know the puzzle is you know nothing will like you know come off it looks pretty cool I'm really liking this this yellow on here it's got a nice sort of brightness to it um, I'm gonna probably do the same for all the colors once they fade um, you can see this pink's kind of fading and this blue's kind of fading as well. You can see it's kind of getting scratched. So that's what I've done. Um, and so I'm going to show you what it looks like when they're together. I can show you um, what it looks like when these colors are on the inside. Um, it looks pretty cool. So I'll show you right now. Get the gyro here. And there we are. There we have it. Um, and you can see that the colors are also nice on the inside as well. So, yeah, um, looks really cool. You can see when I put them together, the colors rub together and they don't, you know, chip. So that's pretty cool. I also got to tell you um, the kind of texture it gives, um, the kind of texture it gives when you do this. You notice that all these parts here, they've all kind of got a fairy feeling. Sort of like, you know, sort of a, like a matte kind of feeling. When you go here, it kind of feels like it's a glass or marble kind of feel. So it kind of gives off this kind of shiny marble kind of feel. Um, which, kind of, which kind of is kind of cool. I'll be basically doing a tutorial on how I did this as well. Um, because, you know, it's, it's very common for people's 2 to the 4s to become, you know, faded because it's the type of material it is. Um, and Melinda did ask about her mass-produced version um, that will probably be coming out, um, which will basically prevent this kind of stuff from happening, like with the colours fading. Um, so hopefully on the mass-produced ver version it would be kind of better. But, um, yeah. So if you have your Melinda's 2 to the 4 and the pieces are starting to fade, don't worry. I'll basically come with a, I'll come I'll, I'll I'll do a tutorial on how you can get past that. And hopefully this would look a lot better than mine because I was doing a couple of tests um, on how like the paint's drying and all that. Um, so hopefully yours will be a lot better than this. Um, so yeah. So that's what I've done with this puzzle. And this is um, a cool gyro move that uh, that Blob came up with, Blob and Artie. Um, he came up with a nice gyro. It's basically um, when you have the end caps like this, turn it like that, bring the end cap back. It's pretty fast, it's pretty cool. Um, I use it a lot now in my solves because um, because it's a lot faster than just doing, you know, your standard gyro, which is having it like this, and you're going like this. So 
so it's kind of opening up too much and like you can um, sort of get a bit lost with that but this one's a lot faster all you got to do is just move that to the side bring this around back and then boom boom and then back that's done so that is what i've done with this puzzle um and it's very cool very nice yeah so i'll be doing the white side next um once you can see like these parts are getting a bit darker here this is kind of getting scratched actually i might do blue next because i notice the blue is kind of getting a bit scratched there and there so yeah also if you haven't already come and join our hype cubing discord server that me and Lobinati cuba run if you want to get into hypercubing or just wanting to start out on hypercubing there's plenty of help you can get from there tons of resources tons of uh, programs you can use to simulate four dimensional cubes if you want to get into hypercubing or just wanting to start out on hypercubing there's plenty of help you can get from there if you want to start your your journey into hypercubing there's a lot of people there on there that can help you um, and or if you are a, are a hypercuber and want to find a place for you to hypercube then go ahead and join our discord server um, links in the description for that um, and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time